Good afternoon, modern steaders. Do you guys remember the mauled Icelandic chick we had? She's doing pretty good. She's healing up. I put her with a broody hen with her chicks, thinking that she's going to be acting like a mother and take care of all the other chicks we have. Well, that didn't happen. She ended up mauling some. Did you want to say something, huh? No? So now we need to make our chicken crib so we can put this Icelandic chick and the other chicks, once they're big enough to the, so they don't go through the poultry netting, in with New York City. While training out today, we're gonna make our chicken crib. This might be a little overkill for our chick crib, but I went to a job a couple of weeks ago and they were throwing out some nice mahogany. So we're gonna use the mahogany rails for our uprights. And then we've got a bunch of other mahogany over here that we'll use. While that fire's getting going, we'll get the chop saw set up. Since it's cold out, and we're gonna have the door open, I figured what better for an excuse to have a fire. An old wheelbarrow handle. Might as well get some use out of it. A few BTUs. Even though we're using free wood, I'm gonna manipulate the plans a little bit and make it fit what we have. This piece of wood right here is 45 and a half inches long, is what we had. So we're gonna make our chick crib 45 and a half inches long instead of 48. So you don't always have to go by plans, you can manipulate them a little bit to suit you and what works best for you. I have more long pieces of this mahogany I could use, but why waste some of the long pieces? We're going to use what we can use and be resourceful with the resources, whether they were given to us or not. And that's it for all the cuts we need to make. Pretty easy and simple. Now we're not going to let all these scrap pieces go to waste. Let's get a little bit of heat out of them. It's kind of crazy, it's June 6th today, I believe, or the 5th. And we need to have a fire going. Like I said, we're making this chick crib with resources we have around our modern homestead. We only have four inch sheetrock screws, so we're gonna have to drill it a couple of times to get these to work so we don't gotta go buy any fasteners. I have the ends marked where the other two by four piece of mahogany is gonna go.
gonna put a piece of masking tape. We're using duct tape, that's what we had. Wrap it around the depth that you wanna go in. It's your guide. If you need to countersink it, you just wanna make sure whatever size drill bit you pick, the head of your screw and your bit can go in. Just remove your tape afterwards. <laughs> that way it doesn't dry on there and get all crusty. If you're not using hardwood and you have somebody to help you, you're not gonna need to clamp them. But where I have hardwood, mahogany, I'm gonna need some clamps. I'm gonna dip our screws in the laundry detergent for lubrication. One tool you'll really want to get for your modern homestead is a set of clamps. They really come in handy. I tend to over engineer stuff, but the way I look at it is if I'm building something, I wanna know it's gonna last. I've taken my time and effort to build it, plan it, and spent money on it. So why not build it so you know it's gonna last and sustain you? Now I need to figure out how big to make the spacing for the chicks to get in, but not the bigger hens. If you have hardware cloth, you could use hardware cloth for this part. We have chicken wire. We're using chicken wire. Now remember, the purpose of this is not to keep predators out, but to keep other chickens out. We just got a comment and I want to say hi to Cheryl Taylor. If I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. See right there, Cheryl. Can you see that? How we doing? I'm really liking your Icelandics. They have obviously great layers. How are they at meat birds? Strictly layers? Awesome question. They're a dual purpose breed. We're gonna raise up the roosters and we'll keep them. We'll sell them if people want them for breeding. And if they don't, we'll keep them and we'll have meat birds from them. And we'll be selling the hens, the pullets, for, to other people also. Great question, perfect timing, Cheryl. Thanks. That was fun, I really liked that. If you guys leave me comments while I'm making the next day's video, and it's a question, I'm gonna answer it on camera while we're making the video. So keep the comments rolling.
Yeah, but I'm not going to block you down today. Shut up. Well, we're not putting it outside today. We're not quite ready to move the Icelandic chicks into New York City, but when we are, we got the crib ready for them. It was a great rainy day project today. To the Icy. To the what? Icy. To the Icy. The Icy Wings. These are the what? Icy Wings. The Icelandics, they need more water too. I'm gonna put this plastic down. Oh, I guess we're getting a little bit wet. Turf. It's raining out again, guys. Camera's acting all funky. You know you might just be a crazy modern stetter when you start asking your friends and family to save their food scraps for you. That's not trash. That don't go in the garbage. That's where this goes. When we first moved back and we didn't have any chicks, that was the biggest reason why Gina missed having the chickens. Was, they're your food disposal. They're your garbage disposal. No need to throw them down your garbage disposal if you have one, or put them in your trash. You put that food in your trash and all it's gonna do is stink it up. Feed it to your chicks, your pigs, get some eggs, or get some meat. Two warm fresh eggs. Where'd you get them from? The Icelandic nest box. They just laid two eggs since we've been home. It's been an, only an hour and you already got two eggs. So now how many eggs do we have for the incubator collected already? Um, six. Six, awesome. Hopefully we can get four to six more before we put them in the incubator, huh? Uh-huh. Well, it's another rainy, wet day on the modern homestead, right? Uh-huh. We hope you guys liked the video. We're gonna be going to the Mother Earth News Fair June 10th in Burlington, Vermont. If you're gonna be there, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to meet you. We hope your growing season's going better than ours. We've been pretty cold and wet, but we're still having a good start to it. Speaking of growing your own food, if you guys wanna learn more about growing your own food and your own medicinal herbs on your modern homestead, go check out the Homegrown Food Summit. There's gonna be 38 speakers there from Sally Fallon, Joel Salatin, Paul Wheaton, Jeff Lawton, I mean the list goes on and on. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. Go click on it, check out the summit, sign up for it, it's free. So we'll see you guys tomorrow right back here. Next time at One the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.